Hello, my name is Zoltan. I work on dependency management at Bit, and I am also the lead maintainer of PNPM, which is the one of the three most popular JavaScript package managers. Today, I want to show you some of the uh, most useful settings that you um, may want to use with Bit for changing how your node modules looks like and how your dependencies are installed. Uh, let's create a simple bit uh, workspace. And I will add a simple Node.js uh, component. It will be just a silly component that returns uh, true if 7 is a number, uh, an NLL number. I will use a JS library for uh, detecting uh, if is if seven is a number an odd number. I will remove composition because I don't need it. In the test, I will just check that it's true. This odd should be installed. Okay, it works. So if you open up the workspace JSONC, you can see that uh, by default, Bit uses uh, PNPM as, uh, as the package manager, but Yarn is also supported. Of course, I recommend to use PNPM as I maintain PNPM, and if you will have questions or issues, uh, you can ask in the Slack community uh, channels and tag me and I will be probably faster to respond and to come up with a solution when you use PNPM but uh, of course I will also help with Yarn as it's supported. Uh, so by default uh, the isolated installation mode is used um, when PNPM is the selected package manager uh, it means that if you open up the node modules folder, in the root of this folder you will all only see sim links. Uh, and the sim links will be created only for uh, the direct dependencies of your workspace. So you won't see these sub dependencies of isod here. Isod is just a sim link to a folder in the to the uh, virtual store directory, which is the .pnpm folder. And here, um, here is, are the actual source codes of isod, and any dependencies of isod are in this uh, node modules folder here, which are also sim links to other folders in the virtual store. This is a very good structure because uh, you get a clean uh, node modules here with a minimal number of dependencies and also uh, it's very strict so packages have only access to uh, their own dependencies not uh, not to dependencies that are hoisted from some other place but uh, th there are some uh, tools in the ecosystem that don't really work well with themelinks currently, like Re React Native. In those cases, you can uh, instruct PNPM to create a hoisted uh, node module structure. It's uh, It can be done by using the node linker setting uh, in, in workspace JSONC. So if I set node linker hoisted here,
and I remove node modules, then run bit install, then bit uh, will create a traditional hoisted node modules. Yeah, so now you can see that .pmpm folder actually contains only one file, which is a state file for the node modules and other, all the other packages are just hoisted to the root. So even is number, which is a sub dependency like of, of is odd odd is hoisted to the root. <clears throat> now, if uh, you want to use yarn, by default, yarn will create a hoisted uh, node module structure. You can see that yarn output here. So yarn is now used for installation and uh, yarn created also uh, a hoisted non modules by default. So is number is here as well. But uh, yarn as well as npm also also supports sim linked uh, non modules. And you can actually use yarn with uh, to create a, a similar node modules uh, structure to the one created by pnpm. You just need to set node linker to isolated. So by default, yarn you use as hoisted here, but isolated is also supported. So. Uh, let's see how it looks like. Now you will see that only the uh, direct dependencies are here in the root and is all this is a sim link to this uh, directory inside the virtual store and the dependency of uh, and the dependency of is odd is here. Let's change to, to the default settings here and I'll show the next useful setting. Sometimes you uh, might want to uh, force some specific version of a sub dependency. And uh, in that case, you can use uh, an override. For instance, uh, here uh, is odd has the is number uh, dependency uh, C version uh, six. Uh, maybe you want to downgrade it to version five for some reason. You can do it easily by adding an override for is number. And running a little bit. Uh, bit install. Yeah, I, I removed non modules just because it was installed by uh, Yarn, and I changed the pack uh, the package manager to pnpm. But uh, you actually don't need to remove non modules when you add or change overrides here. Just remove it when you change the package manager or the link uh, the way the non modules is created. Okay, so um, let's see. You can see now that is odd has uh, is number version five in its dependencies. Uh, now with this override, is number will be replaced at any place. So um, not only in the dependencies of is odd, but uh, you can make it more specific. So you can uh, say that only change is number 
to version 5 when it's in the dependencies of ESOT. And you can also, uh, <coughs> for instance, only replace specific versions of its number. So, for instance, let's only change version uh, 3 of its number to version 5. In this case, this actually will not uh, override this instance because here its number is 6. So let's see how it will be reverted to uh, version 6. Yeah, so you can see now that Izod has version 6 independencies. And if I change it to version 6, and let's, let's also specify the uh, parent package here like so let's only let's only change is number when it's uh, in the dependencies of uh, is odd version 3 uh, to version 5 okay so now it's applied and the last setting I want to show you is the dependency rules setting. Dependency, uh, or peer dependency rules, sorry. Peer dependency rules. Look, actually currently we have disabled all the peer dependency warnings, but we, we do plan to enable them again. For now you can enable them by uh, setting allow and it to an empty array and uh, and ignore me seeing an empty array as well. And in this case, bit, uh, bit will in print a lot of <coughs> might uh, print a lot of warnings if you have uh, dependencies with unresolved uh, peer dependencies or with uh, incorrectly resolved peer dependencies so in this repository in this uh, workspace currently we don't have any such packages but uh, i will install a new dependency which uh, has a peer dependency You can see that now I have a, uh, I get a lot of warnings about pnpm logger, which is a, a required peer dependency of uh, pnpm headless. Now the, the normal way to solve it is of course to install pnpm logger to uh, as a dependency, but in some cases. Uh, uh, the package might work fine without this um, peer dependency and for that case in that case you can actually uh, add pnpm logger here to the ignore missing field and next time bit install will need will not um, report uh, an error about it actually yeah, it's already there so it... Okay, so now this uh, missing peer dependency was ignored by the installer. Now, uh, another type of warning uh, or error about peer dependencies is when you have the peer dependency, but 
of a different version uh, like you don't have the required version of the peer dependency so let's say uh, i install the third version of pnpm logger You can see uh, that bit uh, prints warnings that uh, these dependencies they expect pnpm logger uh, version 4 to be installed but version 3 is found sometimes this is fine um, and in that case if you really want the version that you installed uh, you can add uh, you can actually uh, either add here your uh, peer dependency and in that case it will ignore uh, any version mismatches that are related to this um, this peer dependency but you can be more specific and use allowed versions where you can uh, actually say that for this peer dependency it is fine to um, to use version 3 so if I now reinstall I just need to run install. Now we don't we should not see these warnings. Yeah. So we can either use uh, the all, allow any field or you can be more specific and uh, specify exactly which version is fine I guess I recommend to use allowed versions and uh, that's all for today thank you for your attention